Okay, so this is going to be the home inspection video. Um, so first and foremost about the roof, I'm going to provide a letter saying there's three years left on the roof for your FHA lender. It'll be a separate letter, so it shouldn't be an issue because I'm a licensed contractor. Okay, so we're missing a gate latch here. I recommend installing one of those. Um, give me a quick video. Um, there's a small house. So I did run my cross space drone and I did use roofing drone. Um, we're gonna have to get a lateral brace off this gate. So once you get a lateral brace up, you'll be able to latch it up. We can install these little, um, these one by sixes, which in the way, the hinges also need to get replaced too. So it's just gonna be a deal. Uh, there's two separate crawl spaces here. One over here and then one on the other side. You got single pane windows, so it's something you want to look at eventually getting replaced. Right now, I just look more towards getting a mini ductless system. Um, and eventually, you want to get gutters. Okay, so let's keep going around here. Um, I'm going to go for this side. So you got a carport here, and you got a... Actually, what's interesting is they use roll asphalt, which for that pitch, you usually just want to use um, singles, um, three tab or dimensional. You don't usually do a roll asphalt when you're less than a three and 12 pitch, and that's more like a six and 12. Okay, these are actually interior outlets, so they have to be replaced with exterior outlet with covers. A little bit of moisture damage on the bottom of the planks. Again here, have to readjust some of this. I think it's probably this gate over here, this side. Yep, this column is leaning a little bit. So, the reality is what you'll have to do is probably have to cut this side down, actually cut the top plate, move it over a little bit to lighten the latch because you're not gonna get much play over there. Um, I already locked the back up. Um, Nothing concerning. It's actually not even considered a living area because it doesn't have AC in it. So it's actually just going to be considered a storage facility for the, the lender. So, all right. Um, ran my drone, like I said, on the roof. This roof over here is just completely shot. Um, here's the other crawl space. And then we'll go on the inside in a second. And just put it back. going on the inside yeah there's you know that's what happens uh, you got a flat, low pitch roof and no scrubber drains for that so it's, you're gonna have a basically what's gonna happen is you're gonna have a uh, issues with your overhang with leaks like the water damage on the on the uh, rafters it's your panel box you do have a little bit more room left for your panel box to include a uh, more breakers if you want to do one to get a mini ductless system which i'd recommend getting that okay like i said um you get single pane windows that heater does work so that's important a lot of these fans just need to get replaced i did unplug the heat, the oven the oven works the burners work except for, I think, this one. one I took a photo of it. Um, hot water heater works. Make sure I like everything. That was kind of a. Never seen a hot water heater like that before. Um, faucet is leaking, is loose there, so underneath you gotta, it takes two people to tighten it up. So one person up top, one person on the bottom. I was able to get hot water, so that's good. Um, finally, towards the end, you have um, your attic spaces. Insulation's okay. And I don't think it's something to really worry about right now. I'm not gonna have hot water now because I turned it off. Um, so, trying to remind myself where, which area I'm thinking I'm looking at. Okay, I think it's. 
So you're gonna have to probably chisel. Let me look at it again. Oh, it barely gets on. Okay, so we have to kind of adjust that. So you're gonna to want to move this out that way, so you can actually get striker plates to actually latch on the door better. This door is rubbing against that side. So what you want to do is you want to run a three inch screw into that hinge. Make sure you get the screw that matches the existing screw right there. And you're probably going to want to make sure it's actually a, at least a Phillips bit or a square bit. It's going to be really hard to run a three inch screw that's a flat head without it spinning and breaking your hand and all that good bad stuff. So, um, oh, I forgot to tell you. So this door outside here is actually an interior door. This door right here. That is not an exterior door. It's a hollow core door and should get replaced. It's an inch and three eighths wide and regular exterior doors are inch and a half. Let me make sure I lock it. So some of these cabinet doors also need to get fixed and adjusted in the hinges, where a lot of it is, well, a lot of it is just retightening and sometimes you just have to replace these hinges. Some more just old and warped. Actually, that cabinet door is actually warped a little bit. That's what it is. So, I've got my shoelace system tied. Oh well. Um, this fan right here is um, gonna have to get replaced. The light also doesn't work, I believe. So this one, yeah, and it's really loose. So you're gonna have to get that replaced or fixed. It's really loud, noisy too. You don't wanna get a smoke detector put in this room. It's got one right in here, sitting on the shelf. Um, but then again, this fan is also loose and the light does not work. All right, that is with the inspection video, and if I miss anything, it's going to be on the report. Thank you.